I'm going to show you the basic right hand plucking technique for bass and we're actually going to play a little music together as we learn it. So uh, for starters, take your right thumb and place it on the edge of your pickup. You might have two pickups like I do, you might just have one. It doesn't really matter, just find a spot for your thumb and that's going to help anchor your hand so that you can consistently find where the strings are. And then for actually plucking, we're going to use our index and middle fingers and we do something called alternating plucking on bass, which just means we go back and forth, index, middle, index, middle. This is really cool because it allows you to play stuff that sounds really fast, um, but your fingers don't actually have to be moving that quickly because they're alternating the work that they do. Let's try doing a few plucks on the E string. So rest your thumb on the pickup and then just pluck that big fat string as closest to your face. That's the E, right? E, A, D, G. Um, okay, give that some plucks, index, middle, index, middle, back and forth. Doesn't have to be in rhythm with me, just make sure you're hearing some sound. Now, here's the big tip about plucking. I'm going to show you this at a high-tech, super special angle. Don't pull up and away from the bass like this when you pluck, okay? A lot of times beginners want to do that. What you want to do is pull across towards your thumb. So when you pluck the E string and your thumb's resting on the pickup, your fingers are actually hitting your thumb after you pluck, okay? So you're moving along the plane of the bass, kind of like a little dude was like walking on the bass, okay? So across, not this. See the difference? If I pluck the A string, I actually hit the E string after each pluck. See that? So if you pluck the A string and you do not touch the E string after you pluck, you're pulling up and away from the bass, which you don't want to do because it thins out your tone and it just doesn't give you the sound of the bass um, that you really want. So, if you're plucking the G, D, or the A string, you should hit the next lowest string after you pluck. If you're plucking the E string, you should hit your thumb. That's true of index and middle. Same plucking direction, just pulling across, not this thing, okay? Just straight across, like a little walking dude. doop a doop a doo okay? So pulling across instead of up is going to give you a big difference in your tone. It's going to make you sound a lot less like a beginner, even if you are one, which is great. So that's the basic plucking technique. Now we're going to play some music with it. Before I teach you how to play this groove, let's just take a listen, get it in our ears, and then we'll start playing it. Okay, this is going to be really straightforward. We're just going to pluck open strings. We're not going to fret any notes with the left hand. And uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do four plucks on our open E string. So give that a try, just out of rhythm. Just go index, middle, index, middle on the E string. Then we're going to do the same thing on the A string, four plucks. So try this with me. Again, don't worry about the rhythm. Index, middle, index, middle. Then we're going to go back to the E string. Index, middle, index, middle, to the A string, index, middle, index, middle. And that's going to be a whole groove, just back and forth between those two strings. And this may seem a little bit simple, but a lot of bass lines really are this simple, and this is a great chance to work on this technique a little bit and play some music while you're doing it. So before we play with the track, let's try doing this together in rhythm, but without the track, you and me. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do our plucks on one and three. So let me just demonstrate. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we'd repeat. So each note lasts for two counts. We go one, two, three, four, and we're not playing on two and four. We're just letting the note ring. Got it? Okay, so pluck on one, pluck on three every single time. I'm going to count to four and then we'll start. Ready? One, two, three, four. Pluck, two, pluck, four. Index, two, index, four to the A string. Pluck, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to the E string. Index, two, middle, four. Index, two, middle, four. A string, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's finish on an E string pluck. Nice. So one last thing before we play this with the track, which is after you finish on the A string 
and you start plucking the E string, you might notice that your A string is still ringing like this. So I pluck the A string and then I go to the E string. Well, hear how both of those strings are ringing right now? I don't really want that. So if you can handle this difficulty wise, after you're done with the A string and you start plucking the E string, just touch the A string with your left hand and that'll stop it from ringing. So you're just getting the E string. Just make sure you don't touch the E string as you do that. Otherwise you're going to mute the note that you do want. You just want to mute the note that you don't want. All right, all the preliminaries are out of the way. We're ready to have a discotastic time. We're gonna start with this at a slow speed, then we're gonna do a medium, and then we'll do the full speed that you heard in the sneak peek, okay? So you'll get to kind of work up your speed on this. Here we go, we're gonna get four counts, and then we're in. One, two, three, four. Pluck, two, pluck, four. Pluck, two, pluck to the A string. Pluck, two, pluck, four. Pluck, two, pluck to the E string. Pluck. on to the medium speed. If you need more practice on the slow, you can just head to bassbuzz.com and there are extended versions of all these play-alongs at all of the speeds so you can get some more practice there. All right, here we go with medium. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A string. Three, four. One, two, three. E string. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A string. Two, three, Here comes the full speed and we're going to jam on this a little bit longer this time. And remember to touch the A string after you switch back to the E string so that you only have one string ringing at a time. If you can think of that many things at once. If not, just have fun, don't worry about it. Okay? Here's the full speed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A string. Three, four. One, two, three, four. E string. One, two, three, four. A string. Plug. Plug. Awesome work on that. Hope you enjoyed whipping out your bell bottoms. And remember, you can play along with extended versions of all these speeds at bassbuzz.com. And there's also a no bass track version of the full speed if you want to be the only bass player on the track.